Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Amanda Abington has finally spoken out about her treatment while taking part in Strictly Come Dancing as she claimed her dance partner was cruel and mean. The Sherlock star, 50, quit Strictly after five weeks in 2023 and claimed to have been left with PTSD. She now has spoken out about her experience with her dance partner on the show, Giovanni Pernis. I found Giovanni's behavior unnecessary, abusive, cruel and mean. I couldn't sit back and let him do that to other people. She then revealed that she felt that there was a duty of care that wasn't met, adding that she complained after thinking about it long and hard in order to protect future contestants. Rehearsal rooms should be a safe space, there is a duty of care and kindness, and that courtesy wasn't extended to me on this job, she told The Sun on Sunday. Want to be the first to get all the latest news and rumors from the Strictly dance floor? Join our Strictly Come Dancing WhatsApp channel to keep up to date with all the behind-the-scenes gossip about your favorite pros, judges, and celebrities. Simply click on this link, select Join Chat, and you're in. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you can see when we've just dropped the latest spoilers. Keep dancing. Giovanni Pernis has denied any wrongdoing. She then claimed that the BBC was aware of the dancer's alleged behavior. Strictly pro Nadia Bichkova speaks out against complaint rumors. Third strictly professional named as person of interest in probe into TV show. Rachel Riley called Strictly a hostage situation that gave her PTSD. Strictly crisis worsens by the day as pro dancer issues complaint. I know the BBC knew about Giovanni's behavior for years. People had complained about him and flagged his behavior to producers in the past and nothing was done. It wasn't an isolated experience with me. I should never ever have danced with him. The actress then added that she was proud of the people who had also come forward to complain. I'm proud of the people who have come forward. Daring to say something is a big step for people. The price of this dystopian flat shows London's rental market is truly unhinged. We bought our £298,000 Nottingham new build using a little-known loophole. Half the homes in this commuter hotspot just 28 minutes from London have dropped in price. What I rent, at 23 years old, I live in a pound 2, 450 PCM London flat in Zone 1. Corey Starr covers her house with sportswear brands she couldn't afford as a kid. The BBC must have been turning a blind eye and the fact other people have come forward must mean there is something going on that is endemic. This is a breaking news story, more to follow soon. Check back shortly for further updates. If you've got a celebrity story, video or pictures get in touch with the usnews.co UK entertainment team by emailing us celebtips at metro.co.uk, calling 020-3615-2145 or by visiting our Submit Stuff page, we'd love to hear from you. For more stories like this, check our entertainment page. Follow usnews.co.uk entertainment on Twitter and Facebook for the latest celeb and entertainment updates. You can now also get usnews.co.uk articles set straight to your device. Sign up for our daily push alerts here. More. Concerns raised about strictly judges' historic misconduct after offensive remark. More. Rachel Riley called strictly a trauma bonding. Hostage situation that gave her PTSD. More. Strictly pro Nadia Bichkova speaks out against complaint rumors.